And we're here with our top 10 from the 80s. We're going to do number eight. So we're doing the top 10 uh, tops design years, at least in my opinion. You guys all had your own, your own and I loved reading all of them. So uh, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to be opening up this year's as well. We open up every year that we feature. Uh, coming in at number eight right now is 1986 Tops. Yeah, it's kind of towards the bottom for me. I, I mean, I don't hate the design. It's the bright uh, top with the team name on. It's a simple design with uh, the uh, player's name and their position there, as you can see. But I guess my biggest issue is with 1986 is there is absolutely no one in the regular set of value. Junk, it was just starting to get junky. It's probably not full junk. Some people consider it junk wax. Some people don't. You can argue it all you want, uh, but it was just getting to that point where it was getting in the junk status too. So there's tons and tons and tons printed out. Um, I'm going to show the top five right now. So top five up in the corner. Let's go. There's top five. Valuable cards of the five are actually in the traded series. The tops missed the boat so bad in 86. They didn't have players like Jose Canseco, uh, Will Clark, um, Barry Bonds that some of the other sets had. They were all in the traded set. Now, the, the issue is here. What I love is the 86 cards, the traded set, is just so beautiful. Just look at all the top five players alone. Or four of the five players are in the 86 set. Number one being Bo. Bo knows. Bo knows it's baseball. such an iconic card right there. I love that card. It's Bo one of my favorite football. cards to collect. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful card. Tops did a great job of this. And with the Royals, uh, with his logo, and on the top and the bottom, it is a perfect card. It's just one of those iconic cards. And Barry Bonds is the same way. A great pitcher of Barry Bonds. They just should have been in the regular set. It just makes the 86 set really not worth collecting, in my opinion. There's just not much in the 86 set. Um, number three is Jose Canseco, and number four is Willa Thrill Clark as well. And you got to go away at number five, which is a second-year card of uh, the writer, Roger Clemens. Uh, you, that's how far low you got to get if that is in uh, 1986. There's no major rookies in 86 at all. There's a couple... But it's just not really worth it. And it's too bad because I, I kind of like the design. I think it could have gone up maybe a little bit higher. But I just think there's just some other designs that are better than this. I'm not a hater of this one, unlike the uh, 88s and 89s. I actually don't mind this one at all. So uh, that is my number uh, eight. So number eight is... Uh, 1986. So we're gonna open up some 86 cars. As you know, we're gonna. I got one racks packed here. I usually give away these on my uh, live streams there. So uh, I think we'll be opening up one racks packs. And I got good old brick here of 1986 vending box. You know, I got this for a, a decent price. A lot of people don't care for them because they were commonly searched. Um, this one does not look searched. It looks pretty clean in my book. Um, we'll go through some of this box here as well. We're going to be looking for some of the highlights. We're going to be looking for Roger Clemens, some of the other major cards. Of course, I don't have a traded set here. Um, so, you know, we'll just have to open up some 86. We'll start with the Srax Packs here. Unfortunately, I bought a case of the Srax Packs. Again, 86 is not super expensive, uh, but it's, you know... Still has a little value, but unfortunately, the all star cards got stuck to the paper. I have a feeling it was in a warehouse for many years in a hot sun. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate when you get those like that, but I do give these away. Uh, let's open up some 86 here. 
Uh, again, that's what the design looks like. Unfortunately, I like the All-Stars. Unfortunately, my good old Lou Whitaker got roached out there. It's too bad. That would have been a great collector's item for me, but uh, typical. These were typical 80s and racks packs, so something aside. Uh, we'll give Rick Rochelle some nods here for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So that's what they look like. Again, big, bold uh, name up on the top. Their name on the bottom of the stat. These aren't horrible. I'm not going to say it's bad. It's just I think they're better designs in the 80s, in my opinion. I, uh, you know, again, they're a little plain. Some people prefer the plain ones. This one's a little bit bolder than, of course, 88s and 89s. Uh, but I still like this design. It's not bad. It's just no value in these things, unfortunately. So there's a good player right there. We're going to get Carlton Fisk. We're going to get some Pudge Love, my cousin from a different mother there. Uh, as you know, my cousin Rick Miller married Carlton Fisk's sister. So there he is for the Chicago White Sox. Good old Carlton Fisk. Can never go wrong with a Hall of Famer card right there. I'll set that aside and uh, just kind of go through here and call out your favorite player. As you know, there's Kent Herbeck. There's Steve Bedrock Bedrosia. No one knows who Steve Bedrock Bedrosia is. There he is with the Atlanta Braves. So these are going to be every which way but loose. So I'm not going to flip them over. You're just going to have to read them upside down. But again, you can see there's just not much in here. Good Lee Smith. There's a Quizinator there. Dan Quisenberry from the Royals. Oh, uh, they just did not have good rookie cards in here. Just not great players. Ah, uh, the all-star cards are pretty decent. You know, I always like their all-star cards. You can never go wrong with them. I think they're all undervalued. Um, they're just great cards. What's this one's featuring Tim Wallach? Oh, uh, the Montreal Expos. Uh, but again, you can see what's wrong with the 86. Uh, it's just not much value in there. But we did get Eddie Murray there from the Baltimore Orioles. That's a good star card. So if you see someone good, let me know. Uh, there's Jim Rice from the Red Sox. They got these uh, Pirates, are these leaders here. Uh, again, like uh, they, they had these in here from 86 on to 89. Uh, this one's the Pirates. This, I think they showed... Uh, the longest tenure player, and that's Rick Roden. We get to see him again. And an 86, which I do like these. Um, they did a Pete Rose retrospect cards, um, showing up on all his tops cards throughout the years. I always liked these cards. They did them in 74. They did them in uh, 86 here with Pete Rose when he broke the hits record. So there he is, showing them from 83 to 85. So I always like these cards. And, of course, his number one card is Pete Rose himself. So I know there's a lot of Pete Rose fans out there. Should be in the Hall of Fame. I agree. Uh, keep on going here. Uh, of course, we're not going to find much. You know, we're going to try to find the Roger Clemens card. Uh, I think you want the second year Kirby Puckett in here, of course. Uh, and we're going to look for some. There's Dale Murphy there as a leader there. That's a great card right there. So let's open up this vending box here. Again, nothing really valuable in there. I think probably the only two star cards in there was Eddie Murray and Carlton Fist. That's what you kind of run into with 86 tops. I'm just going to go in the middle here. Well, I mean, these suckers are so bricked. There's 500 in a vending box. Again, I think what people don't like about them is a lot of them been searched through the days. Hey, there's a hit right there for Retro. We're going to get all the pitch. He swings as a drive to left. It's deep. It is way back, and it is gone. A two run over by Travel. A 2 nothing lead for the Tigers in the first inning. Again, call your cards. They have record breakers there. There's old man Negro. He's so old there. Pitcher for the Yankees. Trying to get his 300s win. So oldest pitcher to hurl a shutout. So there you go. Probably put so much Vaseline in that ball, he couldn't hit it. So there you go. Phil Necro. Uh, again, I just, the problem with these cards is there's no stars. Not big play, name players. Uh, just your normal Hall of Famer stars like Dennis Eckersley here from the Cubs. Give me Cubs love there. Oh, uh, uh, you know, other than that, there's just not much. So there's good old Tony Perez with Eric Davis. I always like that card there from the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, you could just go through here and be lulled to sleep. <laughs> There's a Cobra there of Dave Parker. Again, not much value. Um, you know, there's just names in here that you go, huh? Who's that? Uh, Earl Weaver. So they had manager cards in here that year. But you just go through here and just be lulled to sleep. 
Looks like I'm not gonna show them all. Just show enough for you guys what we're looking at here. And uh, we'll quick, a quick grab one more uh, batch here. Again, nothing really, really big in here. Um, let's see here. We'll do a little bunch right there. Again, just not many names in here. Dave Winfield All-Star. Uh, there's Chris Brown. I believe that's his rookie card. Uh, that might have a teeny value. There's Brett Saberhagen. Uh, not his rookie card. Second year card. So there's Rico Suave, Glenn Wilson there from the Phillies. Tim Raines. Uh, we're not even hitting many... Uh, uh, hitting many Hall of Famers. We're kind of running into doubles I'm seeing now. There's another Jeff Reardon. Uh, that's the problem with this. Dave Winfield. Uh, there's Robin Young. There's Larry Bird, a baseball. Robin Young. So the problem with these as well, as you can see up in the corners there, the, they were, the top end were black. So they made the top ends condition sensitive. You can see these have a little uh, bent corners in there, unfortunately. But there's an 80... Uh, Five record breaker there, Pete Rose there. You can never go wrong with Pete. Well, there you go. And so we got a couple decent stars in there. But other than that, that is it. There's Sparky. Rest in peace. Some of these don't even look centered. So uh, can't even find the Roger Clemens cars. Mariners leaders, Astros leaders. I'll go through one more. There's one man off looking old there. I got to take that picture from far away because he's so old. Uh, there we go. There's Frank Tanana, Banana Man. There's Andre the Hawk Dawson. Oh, uh, again, just not there. There's Kirby. We're going to get a second year Kirby. Pocket Point number six in the box the there. Let's get a Kirby bucket action. We should find a Kirby in the here, seventh so game. Uh, I guess can't complain. So, again, call your favorite players in their Pete Rose retrospect cards. I love those. Featuring some 71 to 74. Fours. Uh, very nice. There's Danny Glav in there. Oh, uh, there's Old Man Sutton. Mr. Match Game himself. Get ready to match the stars. From the LA Dodgers, pitcher Don Sutton. And we're going to end it off there with the Tigers leaders there. Good old Lance Parrish. So Lance Parrish gets the nod. So again, nothing to write home about. You know, it is it is what it is. I mean, the design's not horrible. I just think if it had more players in there, better players, if it had, you know, even Barry Bonds and Jose Canseco in there, it, it would have been a lot more worthwhile. Um, again, it is what it is. It's 86. Some people do really love this design. It's not a bad design. It's just not my favorite. So let me know what you guys think. You like the 86s? Don't like the 86s? I saw some of your uh, your guys' top 10. I love seeing them. I love reading your comments there. So let me know what's your favorite card from 1986. Was it from the traded set? Um, you know, hey, I just pulled a Bo Jackson not too long ago here. I still haven't put it away. Let's find Mr. Bo Jackson. So again, not many stars in this thing, unfortunately. You know, you get, it is what it is. So there's your number one iconic card right there. Bo Jackson, Bo knows, Bo knows that's his card right there. And that has some value, but these really don't. But there's still some decent players in there that we got. So let me know your favorite player, your favorite design. I'd love to hear your comments. And until next week when we reveal number seven, Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.